it's Dr. Shea from Learn ABA with Dr. Shea, and I am here to give you, ow, <laughs> your five minute tip of the week. Sorry, I just punched myself in the ankle. Um, this is a new thing that I was going to start doing for the BCBA Resources Facebook group, uh, but I'll post it here on my YouTube channel as well. If you have things you want to talk about or you want me to talk about, post a comment, let me know, and I'll do that next week and we'll see how this goes. So the first topic that got the most votes was how to get buy-in from staff, which is so hard. Um, and I've had a lot of trouble with it. Um, there's a few ways to do it that I found work pretty well. Um, so one way is to use something that works like fast and easy and low effort, and ideally something that you can demonstrate before you leave. So for example, I worked in a lot of uh, group homes and the staff would need buy-in and I would train them and be like, oh, this works, blah, 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 use reinforcement, you know, all the stuff we say when we're training. And they'd be like, yes, yeah, sounds amazing. I'm definitely gonna do that. And I'd come back the next week and they'd be like, yeah, we've been doing it, nothing happened. And I do my fidelity checks and it becomes pretty clear that, you know, the plan was not run, um, which means, again, the rat is always right, right? Uh, so. I need to do something. I didn't create a, like the conditions under which staff could implement the plan properly. Um, Cause for an extent it's their job, but their job is also driving everybody everywhere, getting groceries, cooking, cleaning, making sure everybody's safe. Um, like group home staff have a lot to do. And at least in adult services and in foster care, which are the industries I worked in the most, their primary job is not running plans even if it like is their primary job um so what i have done that has worked flawlessly is use differential reinforcement um and i know that sounds really easy but i would just pick someone in the house who like had some annoying behavior that would drive the staff bonkers um so like I would try to figure out what would provide staff the most negative reinforcement while still paying attention to beneficence and uh, improving the client's behavior, right? I wouldn't like try to get rid of a behavior that they liked and was harmless. But if they were doing something that was kind of like irritating or gross or whatever um, and wasn't working out well for anyone, then I would implement di differential reinforcement in front of the staff and they could see it work within minutes. So uh, like an example is like, I had this group home that was full of men in their twenties, which, you know, can be a little grimy, uh, like whether or not you're disabled, men in their twenties, like they usually don't have like the cleanest <laughs> habits and homes yet, um, sorry guys. But what I would do is I had, uh, they would like sit and play video games. And this one client was like, 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 I, I, I don't know, like, like summon mucus up in a very noisy way that was kind of gross. Um, and it really got on the nerves of kind of everyone. And it's why he was doing it. It was pretty clear. Um, and they'd be like, oh, stop that, stop that, stop that. We'll say his name is John, right? Like, oh, John, would you stop that? It's disgusting, get a tissue, blow your nose, blah, blah, blah. And he'd be like, I can't help it. But it was uncanny uh, that he would do this when he wasn't getting a ton of attention. So I was like, okay, guys, just don't say anything. Go in the other room. Like, you can watch me, but like, just sit back, leave me be. So they're playing video games. I think it was Assassin's Creed. Um, and I was paying attention to the other client whose name was let's say Jerry right and Jerry was a quiet guy he was also like the nicest sweetest chillest guy I really enjoyed working with him he was super cool I miss my guys um so anyway I'd be like Jerry you are killing it in Assassin's Creed like how did you find that that's such a cool move what buttons do you press like I will never remember this but you know I'd give him a lot of attention and then um if I heard like the sound I would pay much more attention to Jerry. And when the sound, you know, wasn't happening, I would just go back and be like, hey, it's your turn soon. Like, how long do you think it's gonna take him? What do you think you're gonna do? Are you gonna follow the same plan? Are you gonna go different places? Have you explored the whole world? And then as soon as you would do the thing, but be like, okay, so Jerry, I just saw that you captured a horse, right? Like, 
and just back and forth and the the like congestion snotting sound stopped pretty quickly uh and staff were kind of like oh oh it works right so my tip for getting buy-in is to do something and usually it's differential reinforcement that works the best that is not gonna have side effects really, um, that will work really fast and will make a difference in a way that staff can see very quickly and is meaningful to everybody, including staff. And negative reinforcement is great for that and differential reinforcement is great. And obviously you can do this with little kids. So I hope that helped. Um, let me know what you wanna see next. And I tried to be under five minutes. I went a little bit long, sorry about that. Uh, if you want to see more of these and get notified and all of that when I post them, which will be once a week, um, I think it'll happen automatically. If you're part of the BCBA Resources Facebook group, if you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe um, and then I think it'll show up. So that is all for real this time. See you next week or at our webinar on Saturday. We have about 50 people signed up uh, for writing FBAs and behavior plans. And that is all. Have a wonderful week. Happy Tuesday. And I will see you guys a week from now or on Saturday.